What have I done? <laughs> Your training is complete, little dessert spoon. Now, just as a man who wishes to be the world chess champion must win at least one game of chess, you must serve at least one edible meal. Succeed, and I shall reveal to you the zen of pure flavor. <gasps> oh, yeah. Slaps out! Fine looking eats. Oh. It is acceptable. Yahoo! Yahoo! Another thing I'm great at! Wait, why'd you stop eating, Master? Because my stomach is about to explode. <gasps> what? My dinner killed you? Oh, man. It hurts. But don't lose confidence. The important thing is that you defeat Elzar after I'm gone. And using this, you cannot fail. Ooh, a diamond vial of Mrs. Dash? No, it is the essence of pure flavor. A few drips will cause anything to become blossom forth into a taste explosion. Oh, there goes my life. No! I'll avenge you, master! I swear, in the presence of these drunken bombs, that I shall defeat Elzar. Oh, I'm not really drunk. I'm mentally ill. But I like what, what you said. Elzar, I'm a walking pile of your unfinished business. Why, you? Helmet Spider has a message for you. He says, Ooh, I'm dead. Spargo, huh? What'd he do? Bland himself to death? No, he was eating some food I made. And by a crazy coincidence, his stomach exploded. Now I'm here to avenge him. Okay, but it seems like you're the one who killed him. Maybe so. But you are his sworn enemy. I challenge you to a battle of the chefs. <laughs> Scandalous. Very well. We'll meet on the ancient televised battleground. Of Kitchen Coliseum. Whoever's meal is best will claim the title of Iron Cook. Iron Cook, eh? I can't lose! I'm 30% iron! You're going down! Uh, also, I had a reservation for one under Dr. Bender. Iron Cook. Please welcome the Superintendent of Kitchen Coliseum, Chairman Koji. No robot chef has ever competed here, but today one has barged his way in to challenge for the title of Iron a Cook. Yeah, you show him. Woo! Let's meet today's celebrity judges. Captain of the Harlem Globetrotters, Ethan Bubblegum Tate. Konnichiwa, brother. TV anchor monster, Morbo. Greetings, pathetic host. And the woman who ended a thousand-year galactic war with her apple pie dandies, Martha Stewart's head. The secret is fresh pork. 
And now, Chairman Koji will do the theme ingredient that is used in every dish today. If it's chicken, chicken a la king. If it's fish, fish a la king. If it's turkey, fish a la king. Soylent Green! Soylent Green is a classic ingredient of gourmet cooking. And the battle is on! Ah, what else are making? Well, Hiroki-san, when I asked him, he said, what is it my, my business and conjectured that my mother was a prostitute. <laughs> In English countryside, many prostitutes decorate their rooms with festive gourds. It's a good thing. <laughs> 30 minutes to go. Look at Bender roll that dough. I've never seen such confident, powerful strokes of the ass. You've never seen mine. No, I haven't. Fifteen minutes remaining. The Iron Cook is bringing in his signature creation, a working pastry replica of downtown Venice. <laughs> Commemorative turkey basters, get your commemorative turkey basters. Yo, hook me up. My turkey's dry and I've tried everything. Oh, wait, never mind. Got no money. Oh, the girls, the unbearable girls. Fifteen seconds. Hmm. Bam! Ten seconds. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Master Sparkle, if you can hear me up there in that ditch where I left you, this is for you. Boom! Time up! Tasty. The Iron Cook Neptunian has gone all out to please the judges. He's even garnished the salad with $100 bills. Let's see what they think. Mmm, salt and cream is my kind of people. Scrumptious Marble will store this in his sack for our future digestion. I'm swimming in my own silent waste. It's a good thing. Bong. Next up, Challenger Bender, a student of the legendary Helmet Sparkle. Bender is some sort of wonderful mechanical man. Ooh, delicious. This food looks kind of funky. But it tastes kind of bonkers. The Challenger's ugly food has shown us that even hideous things can be sweet on the inside. <laughs> and now, judgment. The winner will become the new Iron Cook. The loser is doomed to scrub. <laughs> Whose confection will achieve perfection? Whose food stuff will be the good stuff? Challenger a bender! Woo! That's my robot! I own him! You honor me, Chairman Koji. Domi arigato, Mr. Roboto. Gentlemen, son, I came here with one goal. To humiliate Alzar in a large stadium. I believe I've done that. No question. But the true zen of flavor is not found in a coliseum. It is found in a small kitchen with friends. That is why I decline the title of Iron Cook and accept only the lesser title of Zinc Sassier, which I just made up. Also, it comes with double prize money. Woo! Why 
point. Everyone must know. I broke the professor's bottle chip. <gasps> and what's worse, I friend, my dearest friend, Fry. <laughs> I can never repay him his ten dollars. So I must take the only honorable path. What with the killing of myself? <gasps> Here I go already. Huh? That sword cost five thousand dollars. Right, did it? Whoop, 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 whoop. And that's how I defeated Elzar. Thanks to Sparkle's magic liquid. Yeah, we were there, and we just finished watching it again on TV. Hmm, let me see that vial, Bender. Good lord! According to this spectralizer, Sparkle's magic ingredient was water. Ordinary water. <gasps> oh, so the real gift Sparkle gave you was confidence. The confidence to be your best. Yes, ordinary water. Laced with nothing more than a few spoonfuls of LSD. The important thing is, by my standards, I want fair and square. Now, who wants brunch? Cooked with plenty of confidence. Oh, yeah, woo!